Hello guys, this is me Dr. Kashan Kasit today here and we are going to discuss today the most important and problematic topic for a medical student that is history taking for a medical student. History taking is very important in a medical student life because this is the basis for a clinical trials or a clinical point of view. So I've decided to make a video on this topic of history taking history taking involves the following important points that is identifying that our chief complaint history of present illness which involve further the onset location duration etc all these are the points which we will discuss later but before that you should know the basic some of the basic steps some of the basic rules of the history taking now first of all always introduce yourself to the patient and then try to make the environment private and free of distraction as possible if possible sit down next to the patient while conducting the history so next you will uh, remove any physical barrier between you and your patient except some of the patient like covid patient so next point here is the important point which is listening to the patient always listen to your patient carefully and devote your all attention to the patient's talk and do not write continuously on the paper or do not gaze outside of the window because it can put the patient off so next uh, here is another point which is interference of the relatives A relative tries to interfere and give the patient version so always discourage this point so these are the some basic points you should know before going to take the history so coming to the history taking the most important point that is identifying data chief complaint history of presenting illness these are the points you should know about history taking now we will discuss the three important point that is identifying data chief complaint history of present illness number one here is identifying data this gives the personal information about the patient ask the patient their name age and sex because some of the diseases are related to age and sex do also documentation of their address and their occupation also ask the patient their marital status occupation and religious belief and living circumstances as well the second one here is the chief complaint chief complaint is the reason or problem due to which the patient is in your clinic or in the hospital so in chief complaint always try to give the leading questions like how can i help you uh, why are you here today and what brings you here today so these are the questions you can ask to the patient the most important point here is the patient's own word you will always write the chief complaint in patient's own word so if the patient is having more than one problem or more than one complaint you will always write in in a chronological order that is the longest duration should be written first the symptom which is of longest duration should be written first for example if the patient is having a fever and cough as well and he is having the body ache as well these are the three things you get from the patient now you will write these things in a chronological order you will write these complaints in a chronological order like this like for example a patient is having fever for 5 days you will write this on the top then you will write cough for example with expectoration expectoration for 3 days and weakness for 2 days you will write this in a chronological order that is of longest duration is written on the first then you will write the second one and the third one you will write this in a chronological order the chief complaint should always be recorded in a patient's own word this is the most important point in a chief complaint the third one here is the history of present illness history of present illness in history of present illness most important point is listening then here is another point you can add here the pre morbidities pre morbidities you can ask about the pre morbidities pre morbidities are some of the diseases like htn hypertension tb asthma all these diabetes mellitus all these are the pre morbidities you can ask about any of this condition to the patient 
but do not go in detail about these pre-morbidities you can just simply ask either the patient is having hypertension tb asthma or diabetes that's all then you will write the history of present illness in order to make the history of present illness perfect you should avoid the use of medical terminologies in history of present illness as well always try to write the history of present illness in a descriptive language which is familiar to the patient now i will mention here some of the questions some of the common question which can be asked to which are applicable to any of the complaint a patient is having but before that you should know this mnemonic that is old card old card means o stands for onset mode of onset the second one here is location duration c stands for character severity a is for aggravating factor relieving factor and the last one which is treatment so starting from the first one which is the mode of onset in mode of onset ask whether the onset of this problem is acute subacute or insidious how it is progressed and what is the present status of this problem this is about the mode of onset of the problem then is the location location is for the specific symptoms like pain you can ask the patient that is the specific symptom like pain is located in a specific place you can ask the patient uh, has it changed over time does it radiate to an other specific area of the body you can ask all these question to the patient third one here is the duration you can ask about the duration of the problem how long has the problem lasted and is it similar to the previous one if so what was done at that point so these are the three points i have discussed now i will discuss the character and severity in character and severity you will ask about the severity of this problem how bothersome is this problem is it affecting their uh, daily life activities does it keep the patient up at night while describing the pain ask the patient that either it is like anything they have felt in the past uh, like knife uh, if it is if the problem is affecting their daily life activ activities to what extent this is affecting their activities for example if the patient is complaining of shortness of breath you can compare their daily life activities for example walking distance with that of the shortness of breath so you can ask this type of question in severity and character of the problem the next one here is aggravating factor which are enhancing which are aggravating this problem uh, you can ask the patient do activities like uh, running jumping or touching these type of activities affect this problem or enhance this problem you can ask all these type of the question in aggravating factor next one is relieving factor do any type of non medical or medical intervention relieve this problem you can ask all these type of the question in relieving factor the last one here is the treatment have they tried any therapeutic or non therapeutic maneuver to this one if so if they have tried this uh, what has made it better or worse you can ask all these questions in treatment i've discussed all the points today about a history taking rest of the points we will discuss like past medical history and other points we will discuss in the next video part 2 of the history taking for a medical student or history taking in medicine so hope you like my video thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next video